The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. It's David Schmidt, and welcome to our product training webinar. This month, we are going to be talking about pain management. Now, we have been in the field of pain management since 2005 with the introduction of IceWave. And since then, we have released quite a few products uh, that all tackle a number of different issues concerning pain, uh, meaning there's a number of ways to use different products that we have for specific types of pain for getting the best results. So we're gonna be covering that today. Uh, we're also gonna be talking about a number of clinical studies that we've done um, on our products, and you'll get a little bit better insight to how we know that our products relieve pain. We are a science-based company, so whenever we make claims, we back it up by clinical research. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first place we're gonna start is with X39, which is our flagship product. Now, as you know, X39 will activate the stem cells in the body, and one of the things that people are surprised to find out is that X39 does provide a considerable amount of pain relief. And the reason for this is that X39 elevates copper peptide, and copper peptide has a very powerful effect on managing the body's inflammation. Now, something interesting uh, happens here that we should discuss. Uh, if you are dealing with any type of acute or chronic pain, you can certainly start with X39. Many of you will get pain relief. A, a smaller percentage, though, will find out that their pain levels with X39 will go up. And there's an important reason why this happens, and you should understand the reason for this. When there is damaged tissue in the body, so let's say that you've had some type of injury for a period of time, in order to remove that old damaged tissue, the body needs to elevate inflammatory chemicals to tear down that tissue to make way for new healthy tissue and new healthy cells. So, of course, when we elevate inflammation, which is a natural process, people will experience this as an increase in their pain. Now, usually, this will only last for a few days, uh, and for most people, it's only going to be a very mild increase in pain. Of course, if there's discomfort, you should remove the patch, or you could use one of the techniques that we're going to talk about in this webinar today to reduce the pain or not have any pain at all. So anyway, bottom line with this is you can start with X39 and then add or subtract from there. So first thing is uh, we're going to go over to the science section of our website and we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the clinical research that we've done over the years that you're gonna wanna know about in the area of pain management. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we've done more than 18 clinical studies just in the area of pain management. Uh, so we have quite a bit of experience and we've used many different techniques. So I want to share a few of those with you today. Uh, and by the way, I see there's a lot of questions <laughs> that are coming in. Um, we are going to devote, uh, after this brief presentation, a portion of time where I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. So, uh, one of the studies that we did going back to 2013 was with Dr. Pierre Volkman. Now, Dr. Volkman is the number one medical doctor in France in the field of pain management. So we were very, very fortunate to do this study with him. And if you simply click on this box, uh, this study will come up. Now, this study uh, was done at a, as a double-blind, placebo-controlled study, and it was performed at a hospital in Lyon, France, called General de Sante. And we used uh, IceWave, as you can see in this study. The other thing I think that I would want to point out to you is that this study was done with 100 people. 
So that's rather large uh, for a clinical study of this type. Usually when we're doing uh, studies with uh, a new product, uh, we'll do a pilot study of maybe 10 people, 15 people. Uh, then we'll do a follow-up study with 40 to 50 people, and then in some cases, much larger studies like this one. Uh, but a, a group of 100 people is a large study. And again, this was done at a hospital and performed by medical doctors in the hospital. So you can read uh, the study if you like, uh, but I'm going to skip down to page 35. Uh, basically, this uh, document is going to have all the details, everything that you'd want to know about the study. But let's get to the bottom line, because that's what's really interesting here for the point of view of our training. We look at the results, and this is the percentage of people in the study that had a decrease of pain. So let's notice something here. Uh, first, within the first five minutes of applying Ice Wave, 56% of the participants got relief of pain. Now, that's actually, in our world, very, very low because uh, our distributors that are experienced with how to use Ice Wave will regularly get more than 90% of people being patched get relief of pain in two to three minutes. But here, the doctors... Uh, that were applying the patches only got 56% of the participants out of pain within five minutes. And the reason will become be very, very clear. It was because they were using a very simplistic protocol uh, when applying the patches, not some of the more sophisticated protocols uh, that we use and we train on. So in any case, but notice what happens. The patches were left in place and within 15 minutes, 92% of the people got a decrease in pain. Now, this is important because if you're working with someone and you apply the patch and after a few minutes they say, you know what, I really don't notice anything, you say, oh, that's okay. You just leave the patches on and within about 15 or 20 minutes, you'll see the majority of people will come back as indicated in this study and say, hey, you know what, my pain levels are down. So that was an important piece of information that came out of this study. Uh, you can also see, of course, after an hour, 94%. How many products do you know where 94% of the people that use it get a result? This is absolutely staggering, and it's actually much higher percentage than what you would expect with a uh, pharmaceutical drug. Okay, now uh, we're gonna move on to this next study uh, just very, very briefly. And uh, this was a study that was published. Again, it was on Ice Wave. Uh, it involved a study of 40 people. And again, what we found was that uh, statistically, we got a highly significant result. Okay, so for those of you that aren't too keen on statistics, uh, these p-values are extraordinarily phenomenal. Uh, just means that we showed without a shadow of a doubt that Ice Wave is phenomenal at relieving pain. Now, let's go over to this other study here that again is published. And uh, from time to time, we will do uh, clinical studies with animals. Uh, we have another number of clinical studies that were done on horses and dogs. And um, I am an animal lover, and uh, my daughter and I have two dogs, an Australian Shepherd and a Rottweiler. And so uh, making sure that animals are taken care of and not harmed uh, in our research is something that is uh, very important to us. And uh, we often even like to say that we experiment on human beings before we experiment on animals. Um, but in any case, what I wanted to bring up uh, to you in this study, which again is in the science section of our website, is that we used a technology called medical infrared imaging. So over the years, we found that there are several different ways of analyzing pain. The simplest method, uh, which is called the visual analog scale, or VAS for short, is a very simple questionnaire uh, that's used in clinical studies where, you, where a person uh, self-assesses their level of pain. 
So you can simply ask someone, you know, what's your pain level at? Okay, well, it's at an eight. Okay, you apply the product, what's the pain level at now? Um, and that is considered a scientifically credible method. Uh, now you can do blood tests, and we've certainly done those over the years to show which markers of inflammation are being reduced. This study, we used medical infrared imaging, and what I love about this technology is you get to see where the pain was reduced. Uh, these studies are expensive, but absolutely well worthwhile. So let's take a look at this now. And by the way, patching with horses is not terribly different than patching with human beings. Uh, in this case, these horses had uh, pain along their spine, and the patches were applied to these three different locations. So on a human being, we'd do the same thing. If someone had back pain, and they said, well, my pain is right in the middle of my back. You could take ice wave, patch white on right, tan on left on the area of pain and get a great result in terms of reduction in pain. So this is certainly applicable to people. And of course, horses don't know what a placebo effect is, right? So we see a result, we can be certain that they're actually getting that result. But here is the magnificence of medical infrared imaging. Uh, no surprise here, the uh, top image is the before image, and the area in red is the area of pain and inflammation. Uh, by the way, I am a big Marvel movies fan, as some of you know, and I absolutely love the fact that the name of this horse is Hawkeye one of the characters from the Avengers. Um, but Hawkeye here was having enormous amounts of uh, pain and uh, inflammation, and we could see only 10 minutes after applying Ice Wave, uh, without any of the other patches, there's almost a complete reduction in inflammation. So an absolutely extraordinary result. Uh, and also, of course, Horses are a lot bigger than people in most cases, and it's the same patches getting pain relief on a horse uh, as they do on human beings. Now, by the way, we have also done uh, these studies using medical infrared imaging on human beings, and we consistently see the same results. So we're absolutely thrilled with that. Okay, now moving on uh, to another published study that we have. And uh, this one also was on Ice Wave. Uh, this one was performed in conjunction with Dr. Homer Nazaran at the University of Texas in El Paso. And uh, I wanted to mention this one because in uh, this one, instead of using a uh, questionnaire only, instead of using infrared imaging, we used a piece of equipment called an electroacuscope. And the way this works is, uh, let's say someone is suffering with knee pain, uh, which people were in this study. You use uh, the electroacuscope equipment to measure the tissue conductivity. So in other words, when there's pain, uh, there's a change in the bioelectrical conductivity of the body. And as a result, uh, nerve impulses cannot flow through that tissue, and so the brain perceives this as pain. So the electroacuscope is able to determine if there are abnormal readings. We apply the patches, and within seconds, the readings start to normalize. Uh, then, of course, we use that VAST scale, the visual analog scale, and we ask people, well, are you feeling any different? Has there been a change in your level of pain? And we hit statistical significance in both. So in other words, we use the equipment to measure that there was a change in the uh, tissue conductivity, meaning that the pain had been reduced. And then we asked people, do you feel any different? And they said, yeah, I've gotten a reduction in pain. And again, uh, we achieved a statistically highly significant result using this technique to measure the effectiveness of ice wave. 
Okay. I think we've talked about IceWave enough. Let's get on and talk about some of our other products here um, because there are many options when someone is suffering in pain and it's not necessary for people to suffer, whether or not it would be an acute or a chronic injury. So what else can we do? Well, as we've already mentioned, starting with X39 is a good place to start. Before X39 came out, the lead product for pain relief was IceWave and Eon. And the way we would do our demonstrations is applying Eon to the back of the neck, uh, waiting a minute, and in most cases, people would find uh, that their pain would be greatly reduced or gone completely. So this is still a very powerful option, uh, is that you can start with X39, and if you don't get the pain relief that you're expecting, simply add an Eon patch uh, directly to the point of pain. So very simple protocol, and you're going to find uh, that within a few minutes, the inflammation and the pain are reducing. So Eon, of course, is a broad spectrum anti-inflammatory, and so uh, we recommend it for management of pain in addition, uh, of course, to anti-aging. Now, what about some of our other products? How could they be used for pain relief? Well, the glutathione patch is very interesting in this regard. Uh, now, I want to be very careful in saying that uh, there are no medical claims here that we're making. So if I mention a disease, it's only from the point of view of pain management and improving the symptoms around pain, not treating a disease. Okay, so as long as we're clear on that, uh, let's talk about a disorder like Parkinson's, MS, arthritis, where there's going to be inflammation and or pain. Um, what's been found uh, through research is that uh, when someone has uh, a chronic health condition, that means it's been going on for a while, their levels of the antioxidant glutathione have been depleted and their glutathione levels are low. And of course, glutathione is the body's master antioxidant. It's found about everywhere. So, when we elevate levels of glutathione, we can help to uh, reduce inflammation and support the function of the body's immune system. So if you're working with someone that has Parkinson's disease or arthritis, they're suffering with pain, you can apply, as an example, the X39 and glutathione patch, rapidly get their glutathione levels up, and you're going to find that their symptoms improve. So again, keep in mind, glutathione can be used with someone that is suffering with a long-term health disorder, of course, as long as it's okay with their doctor. Now, carnosine um, is another product that has some very unique applications when it comes to pain relief. Uh, carnosine, of course, is also an antioxidant, uh, but unlike glutathione, you're going to find carnosine in the brain, in the heart, and in the muscle. That's where you find it in the highest concentrations, whereas glutathione is found about everywhere. Now, carnosine is, uh, I always say it's the most amazing nutrient that most people don't know about and most people aren't using. Uh, it is extraordinarily powerful in the field of anti-aging and longevity. Carnosine has been shown to have the ability to actually protect your telomeres from shortening. It's a different subject. But what about pain relief? Well, what we found over the years is that when someone has a muscle tear, because carnosine is stored in the muscle, it can help to uh, support repair of the healing of that injury, and most importantly, reduce pain and reduce inflammation. Uh, we've also found carnosine um, to be excellent for reducing pain uh, in things like tendonitis and tennis elbow. So carnosine is something for your toolkit for those types of pain. Uh, but of course, on its own for improving strength, stamina, brain function, carnosine is amazing. 
Now, one other product that I do want to bring up here for uh, pain relief is Nirvana. Now, of course, Nirvana is our product which is designed to improve mood by elevating beta endorphins. And so beta endorphins are these happy, uh, feel-good hormones. But there's something else about beta endorphins and that it's they're 20 to 30 times more powerful than morphine. Now, Nirvana pills are obviously not a drug and it will take uh, a few weeks, two to three weeks for the Nirvana uh, pills to build up in your system. So if you want to use it to help manage a chronic pain, uh, you need to give it a little bit of time, uh, but that's okay because you can be using things like X39 and Eon in the meantime until the Nirvana builds up. Uh, Nirvana, by the way, also stimulates the production of collagen, so there's huge benefits to it in helping to reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles, and of course, deficiencies of collagen uh, contributes to the aging process. So very, very powerful anti-aging nutrient. So I think uh, my message to you today would be that uh, if you're suffering with any type of uh, pain or discomfort, it's not necessary. There are natural products available on the market uh, that will reduce and manage your pain. And uh, using X39, using Eon, using IceWave are just some of the options that you have uh, so that you can have a better quality of life and live a life free of pain. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and take some questions. Uh, I can see we have a ton of questions that have been written in. Uh, I'll do my best to get to you. And of course, you can also raise your hand and I'll unmute your microphone. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, let's see, I thought a few of you had raised your hand. Oh, maybe not. They put their hands down. Okay. Oh, we have um, a LifeWave member from Hawaii. Aloha back. Uh, I love the great state of Hawaii. It is my favorite place on the planet. Uh, you're absolutely blessed to be in Hawaii. Okay, which here's a question. Which patches are best to help remove toxins and bacterial infections from the head? Best placements for each. Uh, thank you so much for LifeWave patches. Okay, I wanna be really careful with uh, bacterial infections um, because if someone does have a bacterial infection, obviously they should see their doctor and the doctor is going to recommend an antibiotic. Um, and so I am not a medical doctor, so I have to, uh, I have to recommend that. But I'll give you a, a real life example. First, for removing toxins, uh, hands down, glutathione is going to be the best way to go. Glutathione is a chelating agent, and the term chelation in Latin means claw. So glutathione will attach itself to a toxin like mercury and pull the mercury out of the body. So elevating your body's levels of glutathione is gonna be an excellent way to detoxify. Now, when we talk about toxins, of course, there are many different forms of toxins. Um, so most of us are gonna talk about the word toxin in a very, very generalized sense, but it's important to know that you could consider toxins to be heavy metals plastics, insecticides, um, radioactive waste makes its way into the body. So all these things are gonna be considered toxins. Parasites could be considered to be a toxin, something that we wanna purge. So there's different strategies that we would use for each. But as a general way to support health and reduce the toxic load in our systems, glutathione would be a great way to go. Um, now, in terms of bacterial infections, uh, again, it, using antibiotics first, uh, I would be using X39 and glutathione. Um, short story is that uh, I was in Mexico two years ago for a um, member meeting, 
and uh, we had an event there and I happened to get a cut on the top of my foot and it got infected and I woke up in the middle of the night and it was in terrible pain. I placed three glutathione patches around the infection because I knew this from experience and uh, within about two hours the infection was down maybe 80 percent and within a day the infection was gone completely. So I will not travel without X39 uh, or without glutathione. It's, uh, it saved my life a couple of times. Um, but again, uh, I have to say with something as serious as an infection, please see a medical doctor about antibiotics. Uh, now there are also natural remedies which are very powerful antibiotics, olive leaf extract, uh, oregano oil, and some others. Uh, let me see, someone else is asking me for an infection around the jaw. And again, keeping in mind the disclaimer, uh, patching three or four glutathione patches around the jaw, you may find some relief of pain. Oh, here's an interesting question. Could there be an old emotional clearing when using X39? I, heard, I thought I heard it was possible, but I'm not sure. The answer to that is yes. Uh, this has its roots in uh, Eastern medicine, but basically, uh, not to get into too much detail about this, there's the physical body, then there's the emotional body, then there's the spiritual body. And illness is always associated with an emotion. So when we use the patches to move energy in the body, and that's exactly what they do, they upregulate uh, the increase in chemical energy in the body, the ATP, and the energy starts to move. And when this happens, um, not only can we be reducing pain, but the emotion associated with that pain can also come out. So over the years, we've applied patches to people, their pain goes away, and they spontaneously break out and start crying. Um, not because they're happy, uh, it's a good cry, uh, but because that emotion that was associated with that pain is leaving. Uh, a lot more to that subject, obviously, but yes, emotions can certainly come out when you move energy in the body. Okay, when using X39 and we experience an increase in pain, do we need to temporarily remove the patches if we can tolerate it and replace it with ice wave? Okay, so basically, if you do get a mild increase in pain with X39, it's totally up to you. If you can tolerate it, I would say leave the patch on. If it becomes too uncomfortable, remove it and apply a patch like Eon or Ice Wave. And then the next day, you could try X39 again. Uh, my friend is on morphine for pain. Would she need to go off the drugs uh, to make X39 or Ice Wave work? You know, actually the majority of the time the answer is going to be yes. This is a very well-known phenomena in phototherapy. Um, what happens is that the receptors for pain relief compete with drugs. They're the same receptors that we're activating. So if you have a drug in your body that's activating the receptor, the patches or any type of phototherapy are really not going to be able to work. So when we do studies on pain relief, uh, one of the conditions is that the person cannot be taking any type of medication. Otherwise, we're not going to see results. That's not always the case. Sometimes people are on medication and the patches still work. But anyway, that's for your reference. Okay, so let's get to some other questions. What about wound pain or cancer pain? Okay, uh, again, we do have some experience in this area. For a wound, uh, I would be using X39. This is where X39 really shines in that it activates the stem cells for supporting healing of wounds. And uh, so I would be using X39 first. If you find uh, that the pain level goes up, uh, then I would be adding Eon uh, in addition. So you could, pay, you could put X39 behind the neck or below the belly button, and then Eon directly on that point of pain. Uh, for cancer, again, I have to say, 
uh, you'd have to speak with your doctor and make sure it's okay with the doctor to uh, use the patches. That's a whole separate subject uh, because most oncologists do not want their patients on antioxidants because it interferes with chemotherapy and radiation. But if the doctor is so willing, um, I would recommend the use of um, X39 and glutathione during the day and Eon at night for pain management uh, with people that have cancer. Too long of an explanation to get into that now, but that's what I recommend. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I fell down 15 steps on November 13th of 2018. I'm sorry to hear about that. After three hours in the ER and x-rays, it was determined the issue was only muscular. Well, that's good. Uh, I've been on X39 since June, and the shoulder pain is rare uh, when I'm wearing it, but I still notice it when the patch is not on. What should I try to totally resolve it? This is a fantastic question. Thank you so much. Um, one thing uh, I would want to look at is kind of a top to bottom analysis of what is your lifestyle like? So are you getting adequate rest? What is your diet like? Are you getting adequate amounts of protein, micronutrients, healthy fats? Are you hydrating? Are you taking too much caffeine? All, all these kind of things should be evaluated. So in supporting healing of an injury, you want to make sure you're getting enough uh, sleep, you know, seven, eight hours a day. You're getting plenty of water and you're getting uh, enough protein and healthy fats. Get enough. Uh, you might want to actually take an omega-3 supplement. Omega-3 supplements are going to assist with wound repair and uh, they also are anti-inflammatory. So I would look at taking an omega-3. Uh, because it's muscular, you may want to look at applying the carnosine patch directly to the injury. Uh, that'll also support wound repair. Okay, we're past the bottom of the hour. There's a ton of questions here. Uh, I'll try to get to one or two more. Okay, there's a question about viruses here. And with viruses, uh, I prefer to use a combination of things to suppress the activity of the virus. One thing I would do that also complements X39 is to take a copper supplement. Uh, about 2.5 milligrams of copper glycinate um, would be something that can help support suppression of viruses. Another one that's my absolute favorite for viruses is BHT. And uh, I'll go ahead and put this BHT is uh, an antioxidant, and it's fantastic, especially for people that have any uh, type of herpes. Uh, BHT is absolutely extraordinary. Uh, as a matter of fact, about 80, the clinical study that I saw from many years ago, 86% of people that go on BHT never get a herpes outbreak again. Uh, this stuff is very inexpensive. Uh, and it's a naturally occurring antioxidant. It's found in plankton, of all things. Um, you can't take it with alcohol, and you have to have it with a source of fat. Um, so take it with a meal. Uh, 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams a day uh, should be enough. But anyway, read up on that. But BHT is a way to suppress viral activity in the body. Copper glycinate is a way to do it. Uh, vitamin C in large doses, 1,000 milligrams of um, an ester C uh, is good to su suppress viruses. Oregano oil, olive leaf extract, you have a ton of options. But uh, BHT and uh, copper uh, glycinate is where I would start. Oh, boy. Someone is asking me, does glutathione chelate cancerous cells from the body? No. Uh, when we talk about chelation, we're really talking about toxins. It's going to be the immune system and the immune cells that are going to remove cancer cells from the body. 
Uh, you can also do it with something called autophagy, but that's a whole other separate topic. But there are many, many natural ways to help suppress and treat cancer. My favorite is ozone. Anyone that's diagnosed with cancer should immediately go on ozone therapy, and I would encourage you to read up on that. Other ways to do it, too. Do you let the TSA put your patches through the x-ray? Yes, because there's no problem. I travel all the time. Uh, I travel every month, actually. So I go through a lot of airports. And um, the, uh, there's, because the patches contain organic crystals and they're not embedded with frequencies, per se, um, there's absolutely no issue going through the x-ray. It's not going to damage the product at all. Okay, how long is the X39 patch active? Can it be reused? Uh, uh, let's see, this person has left. I'm just going to answer this quickly. Uh, yeah, you wear it on for 12 hours and off. This is to prevent something called attenuation. In other words, if you leave it on all the time, it's not going to be as effective. The body is going to stop responding. So it's very important to have an off cycle. You can imagine this. If someone's tapping your sh shoulder, right, at first, you're going to feel it. After a while, you're just going to ignore it, right, because it becomes part of your norm. So this is a, a phenomenon in biology called attenuation, but it simply means the body adapts to its stimulus. So it's very important that you don't wear the pa any of the patches all the time. 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Okay. I know I'm going over, but I do enjoy very much answering your questions. Uh, there are a ton here. Oh, here's a great question. Uh, could X39 and Eon be used together to help with pain and inflammation post-surgery? Absolutely, yes. Uh, of course, again, I have to say you have to get the approval of your doctor. Many people have used our patches this way. And yes, X39 and Eon would be a great combination. Now, you also have some options here. For example, you could use X39 and carnosine during the day and Eon at night. Uh, Eon uh, helps to relax the body, so people will find that not only will it reduce their pain, uh, but it also helps them to sleep. So people recovering from injury uh, would find that very useful. Okay, so many questions. Um, someone is saying a thank you, and I say thank you back. Uh, what about the experience with people with organ transplants? Yeah, you know, we can't recommend the patches for people that have had organ transplants because we simply don't know what would happen. Uh, of course, typically people with organ transplants are on immune suppressive drugs, so we really don't know how any of our products would interact with those drugs. So sorry, I don't have a better answer. Are we growing new stem cells using X39 or activating those that are already in the system? Uh, actually, if you attended uh, one of our live meetings that we had around the world, the answer is really both. First thing is copper peptide is going to increase expression of the P63 protein, which activates the stem cells. And the stem cells can proliferate, mobilize, and get to the injury. Now, the other thing that copper peptide will do is convert the stem cells that are in your skin over to pluripotent stem cells. So this increases the pool of stem cells in your body and supports uh, the natural process of healing injuries. So yes, it actually does both. Uh, maybe one more question here before we go, since we're way over. Oh, can we watch, I'll ask, answer two more. Can we watch this somewhere after it's finished? Yes, we have a YouTube channel. Simply go to the footer of our website which is right here. And what you'll see is we have a link to YouTube. 
you go to our YouTube channel and um, you can access this webinar. We post these uh, within about uh, two or three days after recording. So this has been recorded. And actually, I just lost the pane which had questions in it. Uh, so I can't see the questions anymore. That must be a bug in the system. All right, well, maybe that's my cue to end since we are over anyway. So thank you everyone for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and um, hope you enjoy the rest of your summer. And I will see you next month with another product webinar, product training webinar. Thanks everyone and have a wonderful evening.